Hey, I wanted to capture what I think is about to be a sassy moment while he's in place. Yep. Ah, ah. So I have been in here. He's in place. He's been good for about 15 minutes while I have been exercising. And the whole idea... Tarzan. Good. The whole idea is that I am making him stay in place while I'm doing something, right? In your case, it would be work call or something else. So what I want you to see, what I just did, was I didn't keep talking to him. I only said his name once, and I pointed. Now let's see what he does. So you can tell he's still feeling a little sassy, but all I did was point... I did not try to touch him. If I try to touch him when he's like that, then he takes that as play. So our mission is to then figure out how to communicate with him in such a way that it won't escalate him and it will just give him guidance. So you saw me point and snap. I also, when I know he's about to get off, I'll make a noise like bop bop or ah, and he'll usually get back on. So I was doing sit-ups, and I could tell he was starting to get up. And he's got a, a bully chew right now. That's what he's chomping on, um, which he then just started to toss around and play with. You know how he does. So the idea here is that when he first started to step off before I turned the camera on, I would just go, bop, bop, and he'd lay back down, and he'd go back to chewing. But I could tell he was starting to get ants in his pants, as my mother used to say. So when I finished... Um, I stood up and turned the camera on to capture it. So what I want you to notice is that I don't start chasing him around. I do not start talking to him. I do not repeat the command. Um, the only time I would repeat the command is if I left, you know, went to the bathroom or something, and he had come out of place. If there's a total disruption like that, then I will um, say the word again and put him back on place. But in this instance, um, it's just a matter of quiet. So... Now let's see. I'm going to open the door. That'll make him move. Bop, bop. So behind me, the door to the outside is open. I'm stepping toward him, snapping and pointing. Yes. There's the door. So we're practicing a lot of things like this, and the idea is that he's learning to control his impulses, but equally important, I'm figuring out what the best cues are to use with him and what cues are not helpful. I did do a, like, getting stern with him, started to reach out, and that turned into a big game, and it was a pain in my ass. So, anyway, you get the idea, and uh, more later.